Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in this biggest series. This episode I'll show you an easy way for you to export your plugin into a jar file and then put it into your server folder so that you don't have to basically you know run this every time the maven compiler and then take it out of the target folder and then move it to the plugins folder so it's a little bit of a hassle how you how we usually do it but now I'm gonna show you the easy way to do it just by clicking about one button or two buttons just to get it all done automatically basically so yeah I know I should have probably showed you this a while ago but I didn't know it was this easy so here's my server right here I'm inside the plugins folder now so let's get rid of this so I can show you how it works. So let's say, um, well first let's make a new plugin here just for, uh, so I can show you how to do it from the beginning. So yeah, let's add some code just real quick. Let's add something simple. Uh, let's just do a little command, I guess. That's fine. So new Java class um, booty command, because why not? And then um, implements Implements command executor. All right. All right. So now that we have that, let's just do player player is equal to player sender. Let's not check and see if it's a console because we're just testing right now. So who cares if it works or not? We're just going to send the player a message. So player dot send message. Um, there we go, okay. So there we go, we have a simple command, we just need to register it real quick within here also. Commands, uh, what do we call it? Let's call it test command. So then description, test. Very, very simple, now we'll go in here real quick. We'll also register it here, so git command, test, dot set executor, new booty command. And there we go, there's our simple command. So now we can go and compile this like we usually do, and you can you can run that if you want to, but what I'm gonna show you how to do is execute it all in one go. So we can go to file, and what we need to do to set this up is make a new artifact. So we're gonna go to project structure, open this up, then go to artifacts, because we're gonna create a new artifact, like I said two seconds ago. So now we're gonna add an artifact, and then click jar, because there's different types of artifacts, as you can see here. So we're gonna do jar, but don't do empty jar, do from modules with dependencies, because of course we're using Maven, and then we're getting dependencies from Spigot, that's the Spigot API, and then uh, if you're using other APIs to work on this plugin, you're also going to want to have those, right? So anyway, we're going to do this now, and basically what you want to have here for module is just the folder where you have all of your code and all that stuff. And then the main class, we don't really have a main class like we usually would with the normal, you know, job application, so just leave that blank, okay? And that's it for that, so just click OK. And then um, go ahead and click include in project build, that's just going to build everything, I guess, automatically for you, whatever and then just click apply, that's all you need to do. Oh yeah, but one more thing we need to do is choose the output directory and that's gonna be where the jar file is put. So currently it's gonna be put in this really random location, but we wanna put it, of course, in our plugins folder here, right? So go to your plugins folder within your file explorer program here, then go up here and then control C to copy that uh, the file path and you can just plug it in right there. So if this works correctly, you should put the jar file inside of all of that, okay? So now you click apply and we should be good to go. So now let's try running this and see what happens. So we can go to build and then do build artifacts and then build, okay? And it should build it, let's see what happens. So now let's open this and see if it works. So there we go, there we have our plugin, right? So now let's go into our server and start our server and then join our server to see if it all works, okay? All right, so let's join our server now. So we'll join it and we're gonna test it out. So there we go, so now let's do slash PL. So there we go, we see our plugin uh, test is now in the server, so now let's test the plugin out by doing slash test. And there we go, we get the random message that we told it to send within our code here, right? So now let's change this message and then quickly build it to see if it automatically overrides the, the, you know, the file that we have here inside the plugins. So let's see like if it's able to um, like reload the file basically, the, you know, the jar. So let's try changing this to something that actually makes sense, like hello, I will kill you. All right, so let's say we make a change in our plugin like we just did a second ago right here, and then we want to, you know, reload it into our server, right? So all we got to do is go to build and then build artifacts then do build again, okay? So all, all that's going to do is redo the jar and then reload it into the folder and all that fun stuff. So it gives us a little warning here. It says cannot delete file and then the name of the plugin. But if we go into this folder here, we see that it was actually um, replaced with something at 2.26 p.m., which is our current time. We'll just change a second ago, but that's our current time. So it, it should work still. So if we go back here into our plugin and do slash reload, we should be able to see if it works or not. So we'll do slash test now. 
and we can see that it actually reloaded the plugin successfully even though it said it couldn't so hello I will kill you okay so that's how you quickly ch make changes to your plugin and then you go into your server and all you gotta do is do slash reload so it's very simple now we don't have to recompile our plugin with maven and then you know take it out of the target folder anymore so that makes our life way easier so yeah that's all you gotta do is uh, every time you make a new project of course go to file project structure and then make a new artifact of jar with dependencies and all that fun stuff okay so yeah that's it if you have any questions about what i showed you today or if you have any struggles with it you can uh... join our discord and ask questions there or anything like that we will help you if you need help and then uh... yeah if you want to support this channel then you could click the join button below this video and you can join as a member you can pay ninety nine cents five dollars ten dollars whatever you want to do so yeah you can do that and then that's it so if you like this video leave a like if you want to see more subscribe and peace